ladies and gentlemen, I'm standing here with the one and only Natalia. Natalia, it is so nice to see you out here, by the way. It's been a while since I've gotten to kind of chat with you. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. WrestleMania 39, the biggest WrestleMania in the history of WWE. Um, it's exciting. It's amazing. And it's an honor. You know, you've obviously been in the business now for quite some time, and I do want to go ahead and kind of ask you, because, you know, we're celebrating WrestleMania, and it's back in Los Angeles. How do you feel kind of being, uh, you know, here in one of the biggest cities, you know, at, in the world, and to get to experience WrestleMania two nights at SoFi Stadium, and obviously, you know, you got a big matchup as well. You're yeah. teaming up with Shotzi. Talk to us a little bit about how you're feeling about that. I'm excited. It's really cool. There's 18 women across WrestleMania across two nights. Um, it's so cool to be one of the women for that. I, it's something I never take for granted. Every year it gets harder and harder to get on that card and to be in WrestleMania and to be a part of the show. And that's why all year long I, I, don't, I don't get ready, I stay ready. Um, I train in my own, I have a ring that I train in. Um, I'm lucky enough to have my own wrestling ring. And um, I'm excited because Shotzi, when she found out that she was going to be in WrestleMania, she was in tears. And her dad died last year, her stepdad died, and her sister was diagnosed with cancer. And she was just like, this is her first WrestleMania. She's, you know, she's like, not everybody gets to be a part of this, and I can't believe I'm getting to do it. Um, and to be a part of her first WrestleMania, like, I just feel very privileged. That's incredible. And yeah, you know, Shotzi's story is also, you know, very, you know, it's, it's, it's hard because, you know, you're going through so much and it's like this one, you know, one good thing happening in, you know, it's the one rainbow in the storm yeah, that you're seeing. It's, it's, it's a light at the end of the tunnel. And yeah. like, you know, I think it's great when you have, you know, you look at Trish, you look at Lita, it's cool that they came back. But like, I'm, I'm very, very much about the women that have been here all year long fighting for a spot on the card. So while we want to honor the legends, like Trish Stratus and like Lita, I think it's important to, it's really made me so happy seeing that women's fatal four-way get announced because I'm excited to watch Trish and Lita wrestle, but I'm also excited to watch the women that have been here all year long that fight to be a part of SmackDown and Raw and our shows, they get to be a part of the show, and that makes me happy. And it's so cool, that, you know, a lot of people getting their first WrestleMania moment, and what better place than SoFi Stadium, right? It's gonna be like off the charts. Do you still get nervous, Natty? I get nervous all the time. I get stage fright before every match. What? I do, I just, I, I, it's just those butterflies in my stomach that never go away because you just don't wanna make a mistake. You don't wanna screw up. You wanna like, it's, the stakes are high. It's very, it's, it's a big, it's a big, it's, I mean, there's going to be over 70,000 people, but it's all eyes on you. So pressure is high, but it's so much fun. Man, that's incredible. I, I can't even imagine it. So, Natty, I do want to talk to you about, because we are on the tail end of Women's History Month, and so I do yeah. want to ask you, because, you know, you've seen so many people come and go and, uh, you know, just be involved in the business overall. I do want to ask you, who are some of the women that you think have been some of the biggest game changers in pro wrestling that you would consider, like, if it wasn't for this person, we wouldn't have been here, we wouldn't have been there? Who would you say are some of those people? I think when I look at game changers for women in pro wrestling, I think about China. I think about Luna Vachon. I think about Molly Holly. I think about Victoria. I think about um, Beth Phoenix. I think about Wendy Richter. I think about Mae Young. I think about Trish and Lita. There's just been so many women that have paved the way. Tori Wilson, Stacey Keebler, they all had their part. They all had their spot. They all had their role that really helped bring women to the forefront and help pave the way for women like myself to be actively doing this today. And we have been seeing a lot of improvements. And, you know, we had uh, just so much happen with the women. You know, we're seeing women main event WrestleMania. We're seeing them get just bigger opportunities. For you, what do you still think is can be worked on? What are some of the things that you would still like to see happening uh, in women's wrestling, specifically with WWE? I think that the, we are still fighting for equality. You know, for me, for example, if there's a, if there's a show with eight matches on it, I want to see four women's matches. I would like to have like equal amount of women represented on the show as there are to men. Um, I think you know that would be incredible to, to to have to have even more women's representation, or even like for the Hall of Fame next year. <clears throat> let's have two women inducted. That would be super awesome. And my last question for you, kind of silly, but of course we are in Hollywood, and so we got we're in the movie capital of the world. You know, um, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is Shawshank Redemption. Oh my God, lots of good quotes, lots of good lessons from that one. I, that's my favorite of all time. 
that's a good one. And last one, if anybody could play you in the movie of your life, who would you want that to be? I would have Hilary Swank. She's one of the greatest actresses of all time. Oh, I know. I always pick the best. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. That's what we would expect from you. Natty, it was so nice to chat with you. Uh, I'm going to let you go and enjoy the rest of Media Day because you still got plenty of interviews. But thank you so much, Natty. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.